Do you think I can make it up to Flycatcher? I feel like a fucking shit. I feel so fucking bad. I was such an asshole to him. I can't get over it. I just keep thinking about how much of a dick I was to him. It makes me sad. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Hopefully I don't make- Guys, don't let me make stupid ass decisions. Your reactions are priceless. Why? How so? I feel so bad. Oh my god, is his arm already healed? Why is it so loud? See you around. Jesus, that was awful. All point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. Oh, great. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Oh, baby. We can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. What... <clears throat> what happened to me? There was... You got lucky, and found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon. <laughs> me. <laughs> Not to trim my own horn or anything. don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh shit, really? Oh fuck, okay. Here we go. I hate this. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh. I hate this. Can we stop with this please? Oh god, me. This is gross. Oh. Hmm. That was Not fun. Bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, we'd appreciate the headroom. Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hmm. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. <laughs> Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <laughs> <sighs> there. All done. Hooray! Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me, and, well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White, you'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. Nah. He knows what it means. It's just been 
an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, <laughs> guard against, as they say. <laughs> Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. <laughs> I feel like there's some animosity there between Colin and Dr. Swineheart. Really? So, Alcohol? How do you, um, feel? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, this guy. <laughs> I love Colin. I'm glad you're not dead. Thanks. <laughs> me too. <laughs> They're cute, though. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were- Snow, I'd never leave you. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin. Thanks, Colin. I'm just saying, I was You're worried about him as all. Moment. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? <laughs> and who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? The crooked man. Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. <laughs> So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder it. It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. All right, I'm not faulting you. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. <sighs> no problem. Thanks? Is it her, though? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? Of course I'm pissed, but what's done is done. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't mm. just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? This is about those girls, and it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. We'll see. I feel like it's something really big. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. Maybe. But now I see this war has been going on for years. Hmm, yeah. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. <laughs> this town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, 
It can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. I have a question mark, but it doesn't say anything. I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Uh oh. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. What? And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. What? Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. That's not gonna happen. Yes, it will. It's an impossible rule to enforce, Snow. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. This isn't Snow. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Yeah, and that's oh, just Lufkin, answering what my is phone. It? Uh, is this really okay. Snow? I'll let him know. This doesn't seem Thanks. like her. Yes, Unless I'm waiting in your office right now. Narissa. Narissa? Uh -oh. That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. Mm -hmm. What do you think Super that could sus. be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. <laughs> I haven't the slightest. Okay. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Mm. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not you mean over. You don't want to walk around Let in bloody clothes? Done, Marissa. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah, she sucks. She's sus. a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? No, Colin. I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. I'm I'm not gonna Thanks, send him. Baby. Super sus. Oh, I forgot his office was right down the hall. What if she's like, yeah, snow's not snow. Oh my god. Ugh, damn. I want it to be snow, but... She was like hitting people and like being really aggressive and that's not her. That wasn't her at the beginning. So I'm really sus. Did somebody find her and like kidnap her and is hiding her away and just glamored as her? I don't know. Or it is her and she's trying to be more aggressive now. I don't Oh, man in sheep's clothing I swear to God I think it's it's her Narissa are you Hi, gonna tell me sheriff hello hi Narissa welcome to my office have a seat I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. 
I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <coughs> he says this, he coughs. Six feet! <laughs> Sorry. Huffin' Puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Okay. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Okay, here we go. Go ahead. It might work. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. And you sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. If mm. I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No. I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know... I want to help, but... But... It's okay. Take your time. Let's talk through this. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Can you take it off? Can he take it off? That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! Okay. You can't do that! Will Slow it down. Her? It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please. Don't. Okay. I won't. I won't. I won't. <sighs> Okay. I'm glad I didn't just I remove it. it then. So Got the it. ribbons, if you take them off. I don't know how, but I'm going to fix this. If you could just point me in the right direction, I swear I will fix this. If anyone finds out, I came here. That's probably Snow. 
Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? Yes. I could be in a lot of... trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. <laughs> what did she tell you? I didn't mean Nothing. to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Uh... Okay then, good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. It's just so Those sus of her now. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for... Financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? <laughs> I have other matters to attend to. Probably holding snow hostage. I think it's a fake snow. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna feel so bad, but I feel like I'm not. I feel like I'm right. It doesn't, she just doesn't seem like snow. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. With good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just... Oh, what do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? <laughs> Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? What a dickhole. <laughs> it's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. What an Please ass. excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. He's such a jerk, though. What the fuck, man? Okay, let's take a look mm. around. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one mm. little thing. Talk about living in the do past. You want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. We didn't have to break it. Oh, don't break that, please. And, and, that's why I called. 
We'll finish this later, but we need to talk to Bigby. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Anything else I can look at in here? I guess I can knock now. Oh, nope, I think he came out. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. <laughs> you didn't know that was a I gotta thing. say, your place, <laughs> it looks, uh, expensive. Ritzy. What do you mean by that? Feast. No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? You've lived here a long time, and you've never called me over. So what's this about? Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. Okay. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us. We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going yeah, on. Yeah, tell me. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, True. we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? okay. <laughs> we couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Maybe answer it. Oh God! Uh, let me just. Uh, what a, a day at the beach. Hey, Skiing the we're slope? not done here. <laughs> I should. And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep, and we'll get back to you as soon as <laughs> <laughs> humanly possible. <laughs> beep. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. Oh shit. I've been care about is how can I find the crooked man who do I talk to where do I go just tell the lucky pawn that's where I borrowed the money the crooked man's behind that place I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before so when I needed money that's where I went I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. Who gets loans at a pawn shop anyway? What's really going on at this place? The crooked man knows what people need to get by, so he provides. Besides, it didn't seem like such a bad deal when Jersey Devil was explaining it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night, trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... I won't. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. 
Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. Weird. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. Oh my god. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. Okay, You we... wouldn't understand, Bigby. I guess not. Probably no. not. Probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I feel like I need to go to the pawn shop. I think I'm gonna go to the pawn shop first. What? What the fuck? Why does... Wow. Really? Really, game? I... Did I fuck this up? I might have to close out the game and reopen it. I'm going to the lucky pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Well, Wait, then should I go to the butcher shop first? I don't know what first? you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? How so? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. What? I would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. I don't know what they want me to do, but I'm not gonna kill anybody. I don't... I don't know. I don't... I'm not sure what they want. It's dirty. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. <laughs> oh, really? Whoa. Big B's here. Oh. I'm just here for information. It's about the murders. This'll take two minutes and I'll be out your way. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'd be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. You know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance. A loan or something. 
She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much, so forgive me if I don't expect anything different now. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnate on the own lays, okay, Ogfrey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running here? Told? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit? Funny you should mention that, because it's exactly why I'm here. You want a loan? <laughs> I didn't really think you the type. Well, first, uh, tell me, how does it work? You know, um, I'm sorry, Bigby, but I really shouldn't be talking about this with you. You know this is a fucking crooked man place, right? Toad? <laughs> they use his fancy <laughs> boys like Jack here to squelch the honest businessman. Force him to lay on credit into servitude. High interest isn't servitude. And nobody's complained before. Oh, listen. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. <laughs> leave the code. <laughs> How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. Look, I'll... I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. I'm... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I thought I still had... Uh, oh, that's why I would... Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. I mean, he's Drop right. by any time. Look, I'm sorry, all right? What else do you want from me? He really grows on you. Maybe I should have taken Look, the money. I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's something stable. Stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And uh. before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We... Never take something like that. Mm, right. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? That and Beauty's loan she took out. She told you about that. Yep. And now you're gonna tell me about it. Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning, anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The crooked man gives, and he wants things in return. And when you don't pay up, bad stuff happens. Why do you think I've never taken one? A little credit card fraud never hurt anybody. What kind of things does he want in return? Could be anything. From the loan plus interest, family heirlooms, to novelties of a more exotic nature. What the fuck does that like? mean? Like? Magic, memories, parts of you. Memories, it's bad. parts of you? Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run at odd hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so uh, what? else can you tell me about Jersey Devil? Just that he's a fucking psycho and I like to stay out of his way. I typically work when he's not here. But yeah. I can call you when he comes back, all right? Can't you Shut just- Shut up, Jack. <laughs> Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Dun dun dun. Okay. An anvil. What's the anvil for? Blacksmith didn't need it. Haven't seen him around for a while. The headless horseman. Isn't this cranes? Maybe. I don't know. Wow, you you don't know a lot of things. What about this? 
This is Prince Lawrence's dagger. Who sold this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so, uh... Who would have done that? One of the Tweedles? Whoever did it must have needed the money bad, which shouldn't come as a total shock. You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? No. I know how it is. It was a rhetorical question, but sure, fine. Let's keep looking. Recent acquisition. I thought you said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh... Jack? Uh, yeah? When was the woodsman here? Was who here? The woodsman. Because the axe was here. But it's gone. Did he pawn it? He usually doesn't let that thing out of his sight. I don't know anything about that. I don't. Really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh... Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Sometimes it's for her. Sometimes it's for the crooked man. Why'd she take it? Just to fuck with me? You think I'm crazy enough to ask her that? I'm not sticking my foot in that lawnmower, thank you. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... That's my fucking system. But you... you're the guy who makes sure I'm that... I'm the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? So, bitch. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. Yeah, and Gren said it. that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. I think while tempers are running high. Hiya, fellas. Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is, is his ex even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? Can jump in, be like, it was here. I've got shit to do, so whatever you're here for, make it snappy. Uh, he wanted to know where... Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. You work with the crooked man. And until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. Uh, how's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a sting, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning... Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. What an you ass. see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the Crooked Man snapped his bony fingers and Bigby handed him over just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. I wouldn't exactly put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Let kidding me? me? It was here. here. It was right fucking here. What yep. did you do with it? Mary How the it. fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. Oh. Oh. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. I didn't expect to see you upright. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? You talk big, but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. <gasps> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? I'm just gonna handle it. You fucking mother... Oh, motherfucker! Oh. Uh. 
What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog, you got a lot of nerve. Oh, shit. Extremely injured. Don't. Don't. So, wanna try again? Oh. You can't find a crooked man. No one can. It's no. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. Does he That's know? not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Okay, that's Crane's way. How do you contact him? Oh, I don't. He uses couriers for everything. Ravens, oh, goblins. The fucking Tweedles. Tweedles. Whatever. I go in when I'm taken there. You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. Where did you hear it got broken? Oh, that. Gossip flies fast. We're like a sewing circle. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Fine. Crane had the mirror. Bloody Mary had Crane. Mm. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Oh, shit. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. Now leave me, so I can find some aspirin. Oh, oh. He ain't going anywhere. Will Mary be there? You want me to draw you a picture? I don't fucking know. You got what you want. Now get the fuck out of here. Okay. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, 
It's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Out of smoke? Having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something we can do about it. We can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right. Go do it then. You know, I had a bad time with Woody first time. He's a good guy. Hey, Woody. Yeah? I'll see you around, right? Yeah. I'll see ya. I like him. We had a rough start. He's a good guy. Thanks, Woody. What are you carrying around that axe like Kratos? He was. What a badass. Watch, I'm not gonna be all fine fucking shit here now. No smoking. Look around. Okay, Woody versus Kratos. Who went Kratos? Not even a question. Hmm. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Probably none, if I had to right. guess. That looks disgusting. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? No one. Cause it's a front. It's a front. Ba -da -da -da. Let's just go back there. You know what? I'm not even gonna fucking ring the bell. I'm just gonna fucking go. I don't know what he can give him a run for his money. Axe for sex. Big B Wolf? Yep. That's me. What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. Yeah, I'm don't not. do it. What you're looking for, I... I think you'd be better off looking at uh, the Lucky Pond. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, have or some place like that. You know where it is, right? It's around the corner and a few blocks down. I've been there. Didn't find what I was looking for. Had some words with Jersey too. Words? Anyway, if, if I'd have known you already words? looked at the Lucky Pond, I, I, I wouldn't have pointed you there. I, I just figured anything worth a damn in Fable Town goes through Jersey's hands at some point. You know that. Uh -huh. Believe me, I don't want to waste your time, Sheriff. And I certainly don't mean to offend. I don't know how else to help. Where's the magic mirror shard? Quit fucking around and tell me. I'm I'm not. I am not fucking around. I think you if are, you're though, lying bro. To me, 
I'm gonna find out. Listen, Crane had the mirror. Mary had Crane. And she comes around here, right? If you're covering for her, I'm gonna have a problem with you. So you better think real hard about what you say next. That's I... right. Sheriff, I... Tell me. Come on. Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Oh, you fucking liar. Don't go liar. anywhere. I'll be right back. I fucking sure. go. I just have to go see. Go after him. Follow him. Right now. Go. Yep. Shit. Oh, God. Here we go. This is disgusting. Oh, yay. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Oh boy. Shit's about to go down, kids. Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. I I've got a bit of a mess back here. Look, uh, can, can you come back tomorrow, maybe? I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Damn it. You're such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> He's going to get me killed. Huh? How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Oh, okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got you on a hook in the deep freeze. They? Do you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. You want to talk about the real butcher? It's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Shh. Let's open this door and see what's back here. <laughs> chemistry set. What are they doing back here? Run. You told them to run! Johan! You idiot. Oh my god. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. It's business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. They'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. 
<laughs> you come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? I'm sorry. It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. We'll figure this out, my guy. Oh, shit. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, mm -hmm. other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Okay, let's look at this. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. I don't. I don't think you're the only one. There's two. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's, it's all the fucking same. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Shit. Too bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. <gasps> move it, move it. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's, uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a... a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? What the hell is that? Jacket? I know this isn't your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like Crane's. It's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. Ooh. No time for traveler's checks, huh? I don't know what to do with this money! I'm gonna leave it. I don't fucking know. I don't want to seem like a crooked cop. That sick piece of... Who surprised not me? Got something in here. A shard. Yes. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh... We'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. You're welcome, dude. Man, I'm still really guilty about the fucking, um, what's his name? Flycatcher? I feel really bad, still. I'm not gonna get over it.
I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his... Hold on. I think there's something wrong with my game. I'm gonna close it really quick and reopen it. Continue. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? All right. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? What the fuck? I selected it. Did you freaking do anything? Would you join me at the mirror? We'll fucking see. I'm upsetty spaghetti. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah? Take a number. Yeah, it didn't let me do it. Maybe I clicked it too I don't late. understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Not well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it at the butcher shop, the cut above. It was in Crane's coat. There was a lot of weird magic going on there. That has something to do with it. Other than that, the last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Well, how would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. <laughs> well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Okie dokie. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh. He doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fabletown. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. What? I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? What? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Now that we're not in his shop, what more do you know about the crooked man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. Look, I don't write the checks around here, but I know I had a hand in it, so I'll try to get Snow to take care of you. Please do. It's the only way I'll be able to get me glamorous. Yeah, all right. But, uh... This isn't exactly a new problem with you, Toad. 
You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig? Hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, we thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. For a friend, the rules will bend. Colin stays in my apartment. It's a lot different than a three foot tall frog walking the streets. What? If the pig doesn't have to go, I shouldn't either. I don't want you to go. Tell okay, me. okay. If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. Okay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just want to stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only army knows. Maybe I should be taking that money. Oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, it's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, Sheriff. I knew I could count on you to make me old again. We get it sorted and I'll be glamoured to the nines, I will. I mean, snowman. Blue beer. You want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. She is. So She's direct so your sus. questions to Miss White. I don't trust her. I don't think this is snow. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this. But I just keep wondering why it happened. To Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. I don't know. But when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Yeah, I don't know why. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. Show me snow. Watch I have to say, I have been better. Oh, I need to be quiet. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. just happened. We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. Yep, so still here, Glenn. let's not do that again, okay? Okay. Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby... We don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Just show me where I can find the crooked man. I haven't been feeling well of late. Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. Perhaps I can be of assistance? <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to crooked man's domain. I can always count on you, Buffkin. <laughs> I don't recognize the door, but... That's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. What door? It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, 
And you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here. Alive. And we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Okay. She is so sad. Something's wrong with her. Some, something's not right with her. What if snow's behind it? Well, if I'm gonna open it. Jesus. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. Where the hell are we? This is so weird. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. Tim, how can you be working here? You know who this guy is, don't you? He's not... he's not as bad as you think. He doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. <laughs> Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are going to get ugly in a minute. Leave? I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this, just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Go ahead. Mate, you got a job I to do. Scared of you. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Okay, so who's the crooked man? Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Mm. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. Oh, is that where it ends? Ah, shit. 
I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. I want to go through these really quick. Uh, the legend of great and, ma and magical wolves often makes mention of their weakness against weapons made of silver, and those tales bear out to be true. The silver bullet Mary shot Bigby with is not the first, but any of them could be his last. Any silver left in Bigby's body weakens his system, slowing his healing and can cause long-term damage. That sucks. Uh, with Ichabod Crane firmly out of the picture and King Cole still absent, the task of leading Fable Town falls squarely on Snow's shoulders. She has performed many of the job's duties for a long time, picking up the slack for Crane, but now that she's fully in charge of the business office, she has a she has to deal with a new level of politicking she has not previously been exposed to. Uh, the donkey skin coat. Only the true, truly beautiful will fully understand the power of the coat that makes the wearer appear ugly. It is the power to be invisible while still being seen. Unfortunately, its value can also be hard to see, but it is still a magic coat, and to some collectors, that is enough. He's so cool looking. <laughs> okay. Not all fables who came to this world landed in Fable Town. There are those who scattered across the furthest corners of Earth, and there are those who simply prefer the Garden State to the Empire State, such as the Jersey Devil. Reports of his appearance have varied though most accounts make mention of leathery wings, but an encounter with a certain axe of legend some years ago has temporarily rendered that feature absent. Interesting. Uh, just one simple tool for felling trees. The axe became much more when it was inscorsled by druids and marked with their runes, but it truly became an object of legend when the woodsmen used it to slice the big bad wolf from nave to neck in protection of Little Red Riding Hood. It may carry old world charm, but its simplicity of design and quality workmanship make it an effective tool or weapon even today. Johan. His name is often said in the same breath of that of the baker and candlestick maker of Fable Town. And like those other trainsmen, Johan the butcher's storefront has served Fable Town for ages. Fresh cuts, exotic meats, and even full sides of beef for the vigorous appetites of ogres and trolls. But Johan's business has fallen on hard times and fallen in with the wrong crowd. As the quality of his products declined and his business turned into a front operation for the crooked man, some have started to wonder if they ever really knew Johan. Aww. Bluebeard's Bunny. One might think that Bluebeard donates funds to the Fable Town government for nefarious purposes, seeking special favors or to have a louder voice in government proceedings. But what he really wants is stability and strength, because as far as Bluebeard is concerned, Fable Town must exist to insulate him from the Mundy world. As, as much as his money can be a sword, it also serves as the shield. Weird. Uh, occupying a desanctified church, this is one of the many locations the Crooked Man's operation uses to run the Fable Town underworld. Its lounge atmosphere makes for a comfortable meeting place unless you are an unwelcome guest. It is completely boarded up to the outside world, and the only way is through one of the many portals, marked by a door with a Crooked Man's Catherine Wheel icon, scattered throughout the city and elsewhere. Oh my god, how many more are there? Ah. Okay. Uh, Crooked Man has slowly built himself into one of the most powerful figures in Fable Town. His operation started with a crooked sixpence and a crooked house. Two things he cared about more in his, than his wife or children, whom he killed rather than let them stand in his way. What the fuck, this bro? In his rise, the Crooked Man has ensnared many fables in his criminal web, providing them with what they need. Uh, but always at a high cost. He is cunning, persuasive, and ruthless. What a piece of shit. 
<clears throat> While most fables theorize that their longevity and overall well-being is improved by the Monday world's knowledge of them, for a select few, that does not seem to apply. When a malady or injury is an integ- integral part of a fable story, the notoriety can make recovery nearly impossible. That's what Tiny Tim thinks, at least, and no medical care or magic, rather, none that he can afford, can heal his leg. That really fucking sucks. <clears throat> Uh, with its idyllic location and managed community, uh, the farm would seem to be a welcome alternative to eking out of out an existence in Fable Town. But those who have lived there see it very differently. They see it for what it is, a prison. A place where you are free to be who you are and do whatever you please, except leave. It doesn't help that while Fables, who appear human, do not have to worry about being sent to the farm, they always seem to fill leadership roles there. It is indeed five episodes. Friday, we will finish this, and then, um, yeah.